Hello and welcome to episode 58 of my Working with Todoist series. In this episode, I want to show you how to integrate Todoist with your calendar of choice. Now, the two calendars I'm going to focus on are uh, Google Calendar and uh, Apple's Calendar. Uh, Microsoft, I will figure out how to show you that in a later episode uh, because I don't actually have a Windows computer although I do have Outlook on my uh, app on my Mac so I will have a play with that and see how to get that working at a later date but today I just want to focus on Google Calendar and iCal so basically the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to have to go into the gear icon at the top right hand side so you click on that and go into Todoist settings now when you get into doing settings, if you go down to the iCal feed down here and copy that to your clipboard. So I've copied that to my clipboard now. Now go into your Google, well, let's go Google first, go into your Google Calendar. Now I don't actually use Google Calendar for my day-to-day -day work. I use Apple's Calendar. But what you do in Google, and I believe most people tend to use Google Calendar. So if you go into other calendars, click on the actual triangle here and add by URL. That's what you need to do is add by URL. So click on that and paste in. That's not what I wanted to do. Just a second. Let's go back and I will copy that to clipboard. Just double check because I want to. OK, now add that by uh, and then add the calendar. Now that should bring in, is importing the calendar, and now let's bring in all my Todoist uh, tasks. <laughs> this is, oh no. Now this is why I don't actually, personally, this is why I don't um, put in my tasks for Todoist into my calendar because it just messes up my calendar completely. As you can see, I've got on here all these things I have to do tomorrow. Oh, I would, that actually is not how I want it. However, for those people who use uh, Google Calendar in in terms of, uh, sorry, use Todoist and actually put in times, that can be quite useful. As you can see here, I've got a recurring task for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday uh, to put in a message about joining the Facebook group for productivity in tech. So uh, all I'd have to do is I can click on that now and that will take me uh, to the actual task. Um, in um, thing. Sorry, I'm just laughing because this is the main reason why I do not actually integrate to do this with my own calendar. But anyway, that's how you would do it with Google Calendar. So other calendars. Uh, add by URL and then you post, click in the actual URL. <laughs> um, okay, let's I'm just going to the other calendars. Let's see. Can I yeah? Can I remove that now? Hide this calendar from the list. Oh, <laughs> phew! That makes me feel so much better. Okay, now let's have a look in uh, what it would happen. <laughs> what would happen to my um, iCal? In iCal, all you do is click on plus. Uh, sorry, that's creating a new event. Calendars. Um, and I can go into... I, da, 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 da. I need to go into File and add New Calendar. New Calendar Subscription is what you actually want. Click on that. <laughs> oh, no. Type in that and then click Subscribe. That's going to then process the... Um, and then I can actually... Uh, add in location iCloud alerts. I'm not going to do this because it's just going to go, oh, it's going to go crazy. And I can actually choose the color uh, that I want it and so on and the name of the calendar. But I'm not going to do that. But that's basically how you integrate your calendar. Now, for those of you out there, if like me, you don't put times into your um, <clears throat> into your event. So if I just click out of this, as you can see, I don't actually put times in my uh, to-dos or tasks in Todoist simply because I don't need to. I'm actually quite happy using two applications, um, a calendar 
and a to-do list, and I'm quite happy to keep them separate. However, for those of you who like to put times in for doing tasks, then actually integrating with your calendar can be very, very useful because it's not going to just put everything into an all-day task like it did with Google. Okay, so that was just a quick video to show you how you can actually integrate your calendar. As I say, I haven't uh, looked at Outlook yet, but I will do in a future episode and show you how to set it up in Outlook. Uh, but for those of you who live in your calendar, particularly if you're working in an office environment and your calendar is open all day, then I can see how useful uh, having your tasks integrated into your calendar is a very, very good idea. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Join me again in the next episode, episode 59 maybe. Uh, and in the meantime, I wish you all a very, very productive week.